Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we are taking a look today at some big decisions for the new general manager of the Anaheim Ducks. Pat Verbeek has his hands full with this this group. They have some big decisions they have to make here ahead of the trade deadline. So we'll be going over that in today's video. So all three of these guys for the Ducks, pretty big name market players. You have three big pending contracts here. You have the first two being defensemen. You have Josh Manson and Hampus Lindholm, as well as forward Ricard Raquel. The Ducks have some tough decisions to make. And truth, truthfully, oh man, I got the hiccups. Truthfully, the Ducks are going to have to probably make a decision that they don't want to. So this is the report from Elliot Freeman. The Ducks likely won't keep Hampus Lindholm past the deadline unless they know he'll be back next season. That's pen to paper contract, right? And a contract extension before them. That's what that means. So the problem is, and this was actually in the 32 Thoughts podcast from um, Elliot Friedman and Jeff Merrick. Uh, Elliot Friedman was pretty, you know, he was saying, listen, the Ducks right now, Look at where they sit in the Western Conference. They sit in the second wild card spot. They have a three point edge on the Dallas Stars, and they've got three games in hand on them. You've got ha games in hand on Edmonton, Vancouver. Like, it's not certain yet. We still have a lot of hockey to play, but right now, the Ducks look pretty poised to make a run. And they're four points from the top of the division right now in the Pacific. So. I think the Ducks are in a weird spot because they've got, I mean, this is a quick rebuild. I mean, the Ducks were, they're good this year. Like I said, right now they sit fourth in their division, fifth in the Western, you know, in terms of their seating in the Western Conference. So they're doing quite well. But again, the problem is they have some contracts that if they're not signed before the deadline, you know, unfortunately the Ducks are a small market team, which means they don't bring in the same revenue that the Leafs or the Habs or some of these other bigger teams on the East Coast do. So, unfortunately, the Ducks can't afford to let a guy like Hampus Lindholm, in particular, they can't let him walk for nothing. And it's not that Ricard Raquel and Josh Manson can't walk for nothing. Let's be honest, Hampus Lindholm, at 27 years old, is a really good defenseman, and they can't afford to lose 47 for nothing in July this year. And again, like I said, they don't have the money to do that. So you could get a really good package for Lindholm. It's just hard to make that decision when you're in the playoff picture, when you look like one of the better teams in your division, it's tough to go out and say, yeah, we're going to sell off still despite being in a playoff spot. That's going to be a tough way to start things off for Pat Verbeek. He's not going to have an easy job here. Um, so like we said, they would get a very good return for Hampus Lindholm. They'd also probably get a pretty good return for Ricard Raquel and Josh Manson as well. I mean, you could probably, between the three of them, you could potentially get three first-round picks, potentially two second-round picks, and some prospects. You know, it's just one of those things, and this is from NHL Watcher, uh, Friedman on what what Pat Verbeek's to-do list will be. You've got Raquel. I think he's the most likely of the three, along with Manson and Lindholm, to get traded. Uh, we'll see where it goes, but the number one question is Lindholm, and we've been talking about Lindholm a lot already. Can you allow Lindholm to walk if you don't think you can sign him? And like I said, it's easy for the Canadians or the Leafs to do that, but when you're the Ducks, a small market team in Orange County, California, you can't afford to do that. So that's going to bring up a big question here for Pat Verbeek is how does he handle that? So ideally, I think they will have to move these guys. And the problem is those are three pretty good players in your roster. So I think Verbeek's going to put a pretty big premium on trying to evaluate these guys pretty quickly and try and get a really good picture early on of can they stay around long term. He's, he's going to decide hopefully the you know a week or two before the deadline and say, I know enough about Lindholm, we're going to get him signed. Or you let them go and you trade them. And those are the two really options. I don't think keeping those guys unsigned is an option for the Ducks the rest of the way. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you think of the Anaheim Ducks going into this year's trade deadline? It's kind of a tricky spot here for Pat and Verbeek to start off his job, but 
this is a good test for him early on. I think it will do better things for him moving forward. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video and let's go Ducks.